Happy Election Day. Yes, Our day is. is here to make the change that all of us need here in Maine, across this country, and all the reverberations that that means for fighting COVID-19, for fighting this climate crisis, for making sure that we take on the issues that have been facing us every day for decades and decades, like making sure that every person has access to health care that they can afford. Health care is a basic human right. And the fact that just one week from today, the Supreme Court will be hearing a case brought forward by Republicans to take away our health care, to gut protections for pre-existing conditions, is really unfathomable. But it is why just one example of why the work each of us is doing is so incredibly important. I know it is a snowy and cold morning on election day today. And gosh, you are all amazing for being willing to come stand outside, but then to go do the hard work that is left. There couldn't be anything more important in these last hours than going to talk to people who have not voted yet. It's going to be even harder for those people to make the decision to come out on this cold and snowy day and to potentially stand outside in a line. You are the people who will inspire them to do that. Number one, by being willing to go out and knock on their doors in this weather yourself, but to remind people what is at stake and that we are not powerless in this, that we have the ability to take control of our today and to shape our tomorrow. Our race here in Maine for the Senate is a race that will decide what the United States Senate will look like. We can't forget that for a moment. We need a champion in terms of who represents us in the Senate, someone who is going to remember us every single day and the challenges that the 1.3 million Mainers face every day. But we also need someone who's going to stand up for what is right and who will make sure that things get done. That's why I'm running for Senate today. I believe in us. I believe in our ability to take on the hardest issues and to find a new path forward. I know that we can be better than we have been and we're going to do it together. So thank you so, so much for being so brave today. I know these last conversations are maybe some of the hardest conversations and the hardest people to convince. But these conversations, is what will get us over the finish line to win this race and to say to the rest of the world who we are as a country. Thank you so much. Let's go to the